Hi, I am Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous video, we discussed the beta lactamase inhibitors. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of antibiotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. Also, answer the questions given in the community tab. In this video, we shall learn the historical background, nomenclature and chemistry of aminoglycoside antibiotics. Aminoglycosides are natural products or semi-synthetic derivatives of compounds produced by a variety of soil actinomycetes. In 1943, Waxman and colleagues isolated a potent antibacterial compound, streptomycin, from a streptomyces species known as streptomyces griseus. This substance streptomycin contains an aminoglycetol and an amino sugar joined to a ribose unit. Due to its potency and spectrum of activity, streptomycin became a successful drug for the treatment of mycobacterial infections, for example, tuberculosis. Because of this property, researchers invested efforts to look for the other structurally related compounds that were elaborated by other streptomyces sources. A family of potent antibacterial aminoglycosides followed. In 1949, the neomycins, that is neomycin B and C, were isolated from Streptomyces fradiae and exhibited excellent antibacterial properties as did the structurally related paramomycins. Although being aminoglycosides, the neomycins and paramomycins are structurally different from streptomycin. These compounds contain an additional glycoside unit as shown in the figure and also have a different substitution pattern on the ribose unit. In 1957, Umezawa discovered the first of all the kenamycins that is kenamycin A and these substances presented another structural motif with respect to antibacterial aminoglycosides. The kenamycins have two glycosides joined to an aminoglycetol ring but a ribose unit is absent. Regardless of the scaffolding and the individual composition of the sugar units, a common structural feature had emerged. The true aminoglycoside antibacterials contain a characteristic aminocyclitol nucleus that is 2-deoxystreptamine, streptidine or streptamine itself. Other aminoglycosides were subsequently isolated and it was found that streptomyces microorganisms were not unique in producing the structurally related compounds that paralleled the antibacterial action of the kenamycins. Micromonospora species afforded the gentamycins that is gentamycin C1, C2, C1A, C2A and C2B and cesomycin. In order to distinguish their origin, these derivatives were given a different suffix that is MICIN. Netilmycin is a semi-synthetic derivative of the naturally occurring aminoglycoside cesomycin. In general, the research and development of the aminoglycosides has followed in that new agents have entered the market infrequently throughout the decades. However, tobramycin is an important aminoglycoside obtained from a streptomyces that is streptomyces tenebrarius and most closely resembles the kenamycins in structure. Other additions to the aminoglycoside family of antibacterials have included semi-synthetic congeners belonging to the kenamycin subset. Amycacin is derived from kenamycin A and debricacin is a congener of kenamycin B. These compounds contain replacements of the key functional groups that are susceptible to enzymatic deactivation by bacterial enzymes. Accordingly, amycacin and dibacacin offer activity against organisms resistant to older conventional aminoglycosides, that is, kenamycin. A notable anomaly within the antibacterial aminoglycoside family is streptomycin which contains an aminocyclitol moiety but no aminoglycoside unit and so by definition this compound is not a true aminoglycoside. However, spectinomycin displays antibacterial activity predominantly associated with the aminoglycoside family. Spectinomycin was first isolated from a fermentation broth of streptomyces species known as streptomyces spectabilis in 1961. It has been used therapeutically for decades 
although today it is usually relegated to an alternative therapy in most indications. Looking back, these prototypic compounds played a significant role in establishing the aminoglycoside family of antibacterials as valuable marketed chemotherapeutic agents. Initially, streptomycin paved the way with its success as an anti-tuberculosis agent, although its predominant rein was short-lived. The neomycins and later the gentomycins and kenamycins provided a needed therapy for certain clinical indications not covered by many other classes of antibacterial agents. Even before the first aminoglycoside was introduced, resistance was emerging in some serious infections traditionally treated with penicillins. At the time, the sulfur drugs were already regarded as inferior agents against many gram-negative pathogens. Not only did the aminoglycosides offer an alternative regimen, their potency against gram-negative pathogens was essentially unrivaled until the more modern beta-lactam antibiotics were developed. To this day, several aminoglycoside antibacterial agents are still highly regarded in serious infections involving gram-negative bacilli, particularly in immunocompromised subjects, and their use in such indications remains prominent. Nomenclature of Aminoglycosides The name aminoglycoside is derived from the amino groups and the glycosidic linkage. Aminoglycosides that are derived from bacteria of the streptomyces genus are named with the suffix myCIN, whereas those that are derived from micromonospora are named with the suffix MICIN. However, this nomenclature system is not specific for aminoglycosides and so appearance of this set of suffixes does not imply common mechanism of action. For instance, vancomycin which is a glycopeptide antibiotic and erythromycin a macrolide antibiotic produced by saccharopolyspora erythriae along with its synthetic derivatives clarithromycin and azithromycin all share the suffixes but have notably different mechanism of actions. In the following gallery, Kenamycin A through netilmycin are examples of the 4,6 disubstituted deoxystreptamine subclass of aminoglycosides. The neomycins are examples of 4,5 disubstituted subclass and streptomycin is an example of non-deoxystreptamine aminoglycoside. And coming to the chemistry of aminoglycosides. Aminoglycosides are so named because of their structures consist of amino sugars linked glycosidically. In other words, the aminoglycosides consist of two or more amino sugars joined in glycosidic linkage to a hexose nucleus which usually is in a central position. All aminoglycosides have at least one amino hexose and some have a pentose lacking an amino group, for example streptomycin, neomycin and paramomycin. Additionally, each of the clinically useful aminoglycosides contain a highly substituted 1,3-diaminocyclohexane central ring in kenamycin, neomycin, gentamycin and tobramycin it is deoxystreptamine and in streptomycin it is streptadine. These compounds thus are aminoglycosidic aminocyclitols although the simpler term aminoglycoside is used commonly. A related compound, spectinomycin, is an aminocyclitol that does not contain amino sugars. The aminoglycoside families are distinguished by the amino sugars attached to the aminocyclitol unit. The aminoglycoside families are distinguished by the amino sugars attached to the aminocyclitol. In the neomycin family, which includes neomycin B and paramomycins, three amino sugars are attached to the central 2-deoxystreptamine. The kenamycin and gentamycin families have only two such amino sugars. In the kenamycin family, which includes kenamycins A and B, amycosin and tobramycin, two amino sugars are linked to a centrally located 2-deoxystreptamine moiety. One of these is a 3-amino hexose. Amycosin is a semi-synthetic derivative prepared from kenamycin A by acylation of one amino group of the 2-deoxystreptamine moiety with 2-hydroxy-4-aminobutyric acid. The gentamycin family, which includes gentamycins C1, C1A and C2, cisomycin and netilmycin, contains a different 3-amino sugar known as garosamine.
variations in methylation of the other amino sugar result in the different components of gentamicins. These modifications appear to have a little effect on biological activity. Streptomycin differs from other aminoglycoside antibiotics in that it contains streptidine rather than 2-deoxystreptamine and the aminocyclitol is not a central position as shown in the structure. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the history, nomenclature and chemistry of aminoglycosides. In the next video, we will learn the classification, structures and properties. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.